late night decision, Salinas City Council members also voted to censure Councilman Jose Castaneda. It was an opportunity for council members and the public to speak out on his bad behavior. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker was there. She joins us live outside Salinas City Hall with the latest. Well, Aaron, Councilman Jose Castaneda was a no show tonight for this censure hearing. His attorney was here in his place, and his attorney says the reason he wasn't here is he was spending time in meetings with local organizations and that his time was better spent that way than here at this censure hearing. Now, Castaneda's attorney started the hearing off by asking the council to reconsider this censure altogether, saying that many of these accusations are rooted in politics and not facts. But the council disagreed, and they decided to move forward with censuring Castaneda tonight. Now, this censure has no legal bite. It was essentially a public scolding for a laundry list of actions many on the council called bad behavior. Council members spoke out, spoke about what they call Castaneda's aggressive, intimidating, and disrespectful conduct towards city staff and other city council members. Councilman De La Rosa even cited feeling unsafe in a closed session because of Castaneda. City Council members also cited Castaneda's failure to complete his ethics training or fill out his financial disclosure forms. Tonight, his attorney responded to those allegations, saying that Mr. Castaneda did file his financial disclosure forms in the last few weeks and he did finish his ethics training today. Now, one of the most impassioned speakers was Tony Barrera tonight. Here's what he had to say about Castaneda's behavior. As long as the people of this district want to elect them, I will work with him. Today I am going to support the censure. You can knock your head however you want. Today I will support that for the simple fact because our young Latinos, Ms. Barrera, our young Latinos, they need those positive role models. Not that we're fighting the cause, but that we're standing for what's right. We fight the cause by obeying the law as well. And if the government is telling me, you know what, you owe $5,000, guess what my priority is going to be? I've gotten tickets, and believe me, that my priority is to get on a payment plan, because I'm a working man. I've asked Council Member Castaneda on several occasions, tell him you'll pay $10 a month. Nothing. Why? Because he believes we're all wrong and he's right. You know, uh, it's, it's not surprising. Um, you know, one of the things that I have repeatedly said is he's really not doing his residents of District 1 any justice. We made decisions all night tonight on behalf of his residents. It's entirely up to him. I was a little bit surprised. I mean, he's the one that insisted we have it on this day. I was hoping he'd have the respect for the public and for the rest of the council to show up and hear what the council members had to say. So again, the city council members made it very clear they disapprove of Castaneda's behavior and they wish he would have been here tonight for this censure hearing, but they do plan to work with him as a team in the future. Aaron. All right, Bryn, thank you. One person did speak during public comment in support of Castaneda. His attorney says he plans to take further legal action.